So have you did okay the any of the practice for the outbound also? Anybody okay stuck at any issues okay in creating the pick tasks? Okay, so today let us see that okay how actually okay we can integrate okay the outbound okay with the processor and storage control also. So what actually I want to integrate is that okay the I want to add okay the some of the three steps okay one is the picking and as well as okay the packing and then okay the staging to the goods area and then okay if possible okay even we can add it up with the value service also. Hello? Yes, yes. Hey, you are all there, right? Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, because actually I could not hear any noise. So <laughs> daily I expect a lot of noise. <laughs> okay. The noise organizer Anant is not there. Oh, is it? Okay, what happened? I don't know. Okay, maybe being Friday night, right? So. Yeah. <laughs> so, Suraj, you are able to finish everything? Yeah. Yeah. The outbound, okay. Just, uh, yeah, but I didn't, uh, I was not able to work more out, uh, out of, after that. So I thought uh, when this will start, uh, okay. what is it, process oriented, then I will work out on the waves and waves and all. Okay. And, and the system was uh, pretty down last few days. Oh, is it? Okay. Oh. So what about proposal? Yeah. No, I am you now these days very busy with the office with you, so I was not able to do Okay. But in the office, yes, mm -hmm. certainly, yes. We are working on this. Okay. So what about Sundar and Kannan? Uh, Sini. Yeah. When I do uh, inbound task, I am getting an item uh, is locked message. Item locked, huh? Uh, what is that? Okay, somebody locking or what? I can reject it, but I'm not able to uh, create task or uh, unload it. Uh, I have what is everything. <laughs> okay, what is the problem, uh, Sundar? Uh, Kanan, eh? Uh, sorry, yeah. I always confuse, okay. <laughs> Now when I do, is I am able to push it to okay. EWM, there I uh -huh. can see it through PRDA, okay. Okay. and I go and select manual, I am trying a direct put away. Yeah. Uh, when I try to create task or unload, uh -huh. I am getting pop-up okay. messages, uh, your item, uh -huh. zero, whatever number is, is locked. Yeah. Locked by whom? Uh, it's not telling name anything is the same. Uh, can I see? Okay. Uh, no, I think the server is down. Correct? Oh, okay. Yeah, server is down. Okay, maybe okay. The is, yeah, the process yes, type may not be determined yes. or okay, the yes. door or okay, something. Okay, the data may be not correct. Sundar, Kanan. Okay, we can just quickly say look at that also. Okay. Yeah. But unfortunately, Today we right. can because uh, yeah. Monday anyway, I'll show you. Sure, sure, uh, no issues. Okay, yeah. Monday, okay, we can fix the error so that okay, you can even go ahead also. Yeah, correct. Okay. Okay, so uh, yeah, today I'll do one thing. Okay, I'll quickly show you the process for the storage control for the outbound so that okay, uh, we'll be get very confident in the outbound also. Okay, so anything in the outbound, okay, if you want to define the process for the storage control. The same thing wherever we find for the inbound, okay. So you would need to go to the cross process settings and then warehouse task and then okay, you need to define okay the process for and storage control. Shrini. Yeah. Shrini. Sundar yeah. here. Yeah, Sundar. Um quick uh, sorry to interrupt you. Um, no, I, the, yeah. this uh, the server is working for you, the EW server or EC server are working for you guys? Uh, I'm using I'm the little, little, little trans, I don't know. No. Whenever I am trying to log in, uh, you know, partner is not rich, partner is not rich. See, the new one is not working, but the old one is working, this, Sundar. Oh. 
See the old one is working. So that's what okay. I am always okay. Last week, I think last class, okay, okay the old okay. one was not working, but the new one was working. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Uh, once once the class is over, can you send me that application server so that I can add that? Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, okay, you can note it down even now also if you want it. Okay. Okay. Not a problem. No, no. Go ahead with the class. Not, let me not uh, interrupt. Okay. Class. Yeah. Okay, I can. Okay. I can send you those things. I okay, cannot yeah, issue. Yeah. 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 Or okay. What you can do is that okay. Anyway, if you want it, okay, to see how I configured. Okay. You can yeah. always okay use my warehouse as a way how I configured, and you can always okay go and okay use the same thing in your warehouse also for practice purposes. Okay. Okay. So let us today so see, that, see okay. that. Okay. Ob zero one zero two zero three. Hey, I think this is a lot of icon. Yeah, can I? <laughs> Always <laughs> okay. okay. Now pick pack. See here. If you want, okay, the prepare for the loading, okay, which is nothing but moving to the staging area. Or if you want it, okay, even you can, okay, add that, okay, the load step also. Okay. Mm. So like these things, okay. Now these three particular steps, okay, I want to add it in my process oriented storage control. So if you go to that, okay, the my process oriented storage control. First, I need to define a one of the storage process, okay. So in my warehouse process, okay, if you look at, okay, can you see here, okay, there is a standard, okay, the which is delivered by SAP, the storage process, okay. If you look at particular this storage process, you can see that, okay, OB01, OB02, and then, okay, the OB03 is available. So if you want it, okay, if because, okay, anyway, I don't have any of the loading steps, okay, to the transportation unit, okay. So even if I want it, okay, I can remove this step or, okay, I'll do one thing, okay. Let's, okay, I, uh, where is this out one? Uh, I can just, okay, copy this thing as, okay, the Z out so that, okay, I don't need to touch the standard one. So Z out. Now, assign the storage process step, okay. Now from here, okay, I can just, okay, delete this thing. So OB01, so once the picking is done, automatically the second task, it has to be created. So if I want it, okay, just the next task okay has to be created automatically. I can select the checkbox okay, yeah also, and then okay once this picking is over, sorry packing is over, the next task okay has to be created automatically also. So I just okay defined okay the my storage process like this thing. Now say yeah go ahead, Professor. Yeah, what is this uh, the product that you just beside this automatic uh, just beside this, this one? automatic yeah. Okay, this thing is relevant for the inbound. Uh, yeah, you explain me. Can you uh, quickly explain me what, what, what was that? Can you quickly explain me what was that? About, no. About this? no, no, come again. Uh, can you tell me about this product HU? Okay, so product HU means, okay, after this particular okay thing is created, okay, so at what stage it has to create the product task? Okay, do you remember, okay, whenever, okay, if I create IB01 task, okay, immediately it even creates IB03 in the waiting task also. Yes, right, right, right. Okay, so at particular what level actually it has to create it. Okay. Okay, so that's what, okay, so in the outbound, okay, okay we don't use that flag. Okay. Okay. Now, Okay, so I created okay our own storage process. Okay, the Z out. Okay, now if you remember, okay, the last class. Okay, so where we need to assign the storage process for the outbound scenario? Warehouse order or creation okay. rule. Exactly. Okay, so you always remember that. Okay, for the outbound. Okay, the warehouse order creation rule. Okay, contains okay the storage process. Okay. But okay for the inbound okay always okay it is linked it okay to the process type. So that is the difference. Okay, in the inbound okay we used to link okay the Z I and B in the process type, but for the outbound okay you need to link that thing in the warehouse order creation role. Okay, so if you just go here now, so once I define my storage okay the warehouse uh, process oriented storage control okay, so and just okay go let's go to the warehouse task and then warehouse auto creation rules under the cross process settings under the warehouse order so we have anyway the number in for the warehouse order everything is available so I don't want to define any of the filter values okay because I just want to work only with the
okay so see here okay if you want to create okay any of the filter okay you can always okay create it and then okay for the corresponding filter like suppose like only the heavy items are okay only based on the size criteria okay you want to minimize it or okay based on the number of these things are okay suppose in this particular warehouse order creation rule okay only the minimum weight of 20 and then maximum weight of okay 30 kg items only allowed okay so these kind of filters okay you can always use it in the warehouse order creation rule construction so one main important thing for us okay is through process oriented storage control because okay the process oriented storage control always okay works only with the HU so you have to remember that okay so we need a particular okay the packing profile okay so for the packing profile is okay the pack okay which is delivered okay we don't have it okay yeah so prescription and then okay the simple algorithm yeah and then okay this is the one okay we want to create the HUs or okay the system has to propose it only and then okay whether the assigning the warehouse task to the HUs that means okay the the corresponding warehouse task has to go and okay sit it in the HU automatically is allowed and whether the splitting is allowed or not okay so even the same thing okay I just want to define it okay for our warehouse EHYD so If you want, okay, even you can check this checkbox. I will just show you that, okay, if you don't check this, okay, what will happen? And if you check it, okay, what will happen? It, okay, so system will always, okay, if you select, uncheck this checkbox, okay, system will not create the HU, but it will only propose the packing material only based on the pack spec, okay. Now, okay, so let's, okay, define, okay, the sum of the, now, that corresponding pack profile, okay, we have to use it in the, warehouse order creation rule mm. okay let's okay define okay assign this particular warehouse order creation rule so creation category is put away path and then okay I don't want any of the item filters to be applicable okay I don't want okay any of those limits also and if you want to sort out okay what material you want to sort it okay if you want to use it okay now the corresponding okay the packing profile okay is the one okay which I want to use it okay now the corresponding okay the packing profile mm. that is where you assigned this uh, OB0 and 0 to 0 3 no no I am just no. coming to that thing okay this is the place the last one can you see here the storage process really? uh, yeah uh, uh, if we have multiple warehouse creation rule we can yeah. have storage process, uh, same storage process. Yeah, of course. Okay, you have uh, different uh, various application rules. Okay, can have the same storage process. So, what is the uh, flow? The uh, system will first go in a warehouse process rule, uh, warehouse creation rule, and then it takes the storage process. Yes, and, uh, if see, it has I'll tell you the one thing. Here. No, no, I'll tell you one thing. Okay, uh, see here. Okay, the picking. See, picking means okay. Uh -huh always okay it starts from okay the start location is it clear now yes it contains okay the yes. start bin but the destination bill will only come when the guy okay moves to the final location yes yes okay but in the inbound side okay you know that okay the start location but you want you don't know the put away location yes. the picking okay you know the picking location is it clear now so yes. when you pick the goods okay mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. you will be picking it from a activity area Bin, yes, okay. Activity area, yeah. okay, so that activity area, so whenever if you create a pick task, mm -hmm. is it clear now? So that is a warehouse yes. task. So every right. warehouse task at the end it has to go through a, go to a warehouse order. Yeah, yeah. You agree with me? Yes. So this warehouse order 
for to create a warehouse order okay you need a warehouse order creation rule fine this way whenever okay for whenever if my pick task or warehouse task is creating a warehouse order by using my warehouse mm -hmm. order creation rule so if my warehouse order creation rule contains a particular packing profile and if it is contain a storage process mm -hmm. okay then storage process okay will you will pick it up so st for the storage process okay the hu is mandatory fine okay so in my packing profile i specified that okay whether the hu has to be created or only hu has to be proposed only okay so okay, the okay. hu is mandatory so when my pick warehouse task is getting confirmed i will create a pick hu and then i will confirm into my material into this particular hu so that okay the ob01 okay. okay it will get confirmed and then in my process oriented storage control for this ob01 i enable that okay the auto check box so right. whenever if the ob01 is confirmed the pick is confirmed then system will create the another task ob02 which is nothing but okay from the pick confirmation location okay to the packing work center once okay the picking okay. is confirmed okay by default okay it has to the goods okay should be available in the packing work center but this is a ob02 task should be linked it okay at my hu header level mm. now once okay in the ob02 is nothing but okay it should be a packing workstation okay so i need okay one packing workstation also so at this particular packing workstation once i do okay pack my goods properly that's nothing but called as repack and then okay if my close my hu then okay the goods okay automatically has to move to staging area okay is it clear now yeah yeah the all the okay the technical things behind this thing is very simple now yeah so anybody having doubt okay this all the things okay which you need to have it okay whenever if you want to do that okay the outbound uh, uh shrini shrini one second yeah. activity yeah. area okay and yeah. uh, there is a pick task to create a pick task we need the warehouse order no to once create you create a task no no oh. once you create a task see task will come first always okay this nothing but a uh, transfer order, transfer order. order. Yeah. yes it's okay. yes, yes. Okay. it's a transfer order so you will group the particular transfer orders as a one document that's nothing but called as warehouse order okay okay suppose okay let's take that okay i created 100 pick tasks okay. but okay under this 100 pick tasks okay 50 are okay need to be done by forklift and 50 are done by the manually okay so okay. that is all decided by my warehouse order creation order. rules if you remember okay, okay. i showed okay. you right the warehouse order creation rule what is the minimum weight what is the maximum weight or what is the number of items you can put it correct right. okay okay of the capacity all those things so okay. if you use a particular warehouse order creation rule to construct my warehouse order hmm okay okay i can okay better describe like this thing pick ta okay the warehouse task uses okay warehouse order creation rule to construct the warehouse, warehouse order orders. okay okay now okay i'll do one thing okay So how Now, that uh, my uh, warehouse order creation rule is actually if contains okay if it contains storage process okay 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 see here if my pick task you just warehouse order creation rule and if this warehouse order creation rule contains storage process okay construct a warehouse order then the storage process will take place okay but for process oriented storage control hu is always mandatory so it need at least okay one hu so if you want to create the hu automatically then okay the fax spec is required okay 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 got it yeah okay now okay that the stack uh, cartonization you created right which one no that you can define it okay as we like it okay in the packing profiles and that's what you create you you define that that pack yes, yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. Can we but, take a look at that? Okay. Yep, nothing actually. So it's actually okay. We have okay the simple algorithm, or okay the complex algorithm, or okay you can put okay our own body to specify our own kind of packing. So usually okay this is like a inner driven algorithm. Even I don't know the mathematics, but what it does is that okay it will try to uh, do that okay the minimum space optimization only. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> okay. So if you want actually I can take it to the test. We help how it works, but okay. No, 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 it's okay. Then yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Basic not itself so is I'm not understanding how I am going no, to understand no, no, the concept. No, 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 I'm just like okay, telling only, okay? Now, <laughs> once okay, you define okay, the various order creation rule, then okay, you just define okay, the set sequence, okay? For the, now you know this thing, right? Okay, for this particular, okay? I was telling you, right? Okay, so once you define this thing, okay, it will be linked to the activity area. Is everybody clear now? What are all the steps I did oh. now? So at oh. the end of the day, this is the process flow. Now you can easily understand it, okay? If you have this text always in your mind. Activity area, you will be creating a pick task. It uses a warehouse order creation rule. If it contains a storage process to construct the warehouse order, then the storage process okay, it will take place. Then okay, the HU will be okay, created based on the my pack spec conditions. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay so we can have Sorry? We can have different uh, warehouse order creation rule for a for one activity. Same activity area also. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So First, what it will do is that, okay, see here, okay, I can have, okay, the n number of warehouse auto creation rules, okay, so how always the warehouse auto creation rule it will work is that it will always work like a filter wise only. See here, okay, so one activity, see for one task, okay, if you created a one task from an activity area, suppose let's take that, okay, you have, okay, the five filter criteria, five warehouse auto creation rules, okay. Now, let's take that, okay, you created, okay, 100 tasks here. Okay. Now, first, okay, let's take that, okay, the first rule is, okay, for the 10 kg items. Yeah. Okay, and, okay, I have, okay, the second rule, okay, for the 30 to 40 kg items. Mm -hmm. Or, okay, and third rule for the hazardous items. Okay, and we can, uh, so what we can also is, make... Yeah, you can use okay, your own also body make, also. Uh, at route level also, right? Yes, yes, this yes. Route, yeah. This way so what route. all going to the same ship to party? Okay, it has to be grouped together also. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, or yeah. going to all the going to the same route? Okay, it has to be grouped together also. So yeah. all these criteria, okay, you can use it. Now what will happen is that uh, so all hundred tasks, okay. What it, it's same thing like okay, it's like okay, what I can say the fishers net, okay. You can say the best example, the fishing net, okay, yeah. Sundar. <laughs> okay. It. Okay. Uh, yeah. So okay. first, okay. Let's take that. Okay. You have 100 fish. Okay. First, okay. okay it will go through the first net. Okay. First net. Okay. Passes only 10 kg fish only. Otherwise, okay, it will not okay. allow to pass it. Okay. Okay. So okay. let's take that. Okay. Out of this 100 only, okay, 30 fish got satisfied. Okay. okay. 30 tasks. Okay. Now the 70 are remaining. The 70, okay, okay go through the remaining. Okay, the filter. Hmm. Now, okay, out of only, okay, here assuming that, okay, the 50 tasks actually got, okay, satisfied. Now, the, with the third rule, okay, only 10 got satisfied the condition. Oh, okay. okay. Now, 30 plus 50, 80 plus 10, okay, 90 got satisfied, but for hmm. the remaining 10, okay, none of these got satisfied, then hmm. there is a standard SAP provided, if you look at, okay, as of today, the DEF is the criteria which uses the default warehouse auto creation rule. Hmm. Okay, the default warehouse order creation rule okay will take place. Okay. So this is the way okay how it works okay. So now, so let's okay go to that okay the our activity area. What is our activity area? I think it was cold if I'm correct. Okay, if I have a cold, now, Chini? yeah, activity area and what is activity, is that two different things? No, activity means, okay, the picking or, okay, the put away or, okay, what is the summary is written activity. Sorry? Okay, that is, no, yeah, summary is uh, like, I saw menu activity, but summary is activity area. No, activity area means it's a group of bins. Do you no, remember? Bins, correct, is a, yeah, across. Type, right? Yes, exactly. 
Yeah, activity means okay. What kind of activity you want to do it? Okay. Just okay, it, yeah, it's a pick. See, in AWM, the activities are always okay predefined by SAP. You know, okay. So internal movement or okay, the pick or put away or the replenishment or the posting change. Or if oh, you want, okay. you can define the activity. activity. Yes. Okay. okay. Now, so for this thing, I want to use okay the our own warehouse auto creation rule, which we created okay the ZWOC, which is nothing but okay the complex put away. Okay. Is it clear now? So if it does not find okay anything okay I can use okay the other thing also. So from now onwards okay for the picking my system always okay uses okay this particular warehouse auto creation rule as a first sequence. But if it cannot find anything okay it go by the default. Okay. Is clear now? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now so once okay you define these things. Okay, Okay, if you can just okay look at that okay the or you also if you want it. Okay, so this is the one. So you can just simply completely look at okay for this particular warehouse order creation rule of okay, you have applied it or not also. Nothing okay, I just used it. Single transaction okay which you can use it okay. Okay, so I just okay want to use okay this pick H U okay the packing profile so that okay the pick H U okay the system okay it will try to propose it okay. So it is showing you how this is filtering filtering is working. Exactly, exactly. So like complete summary. Hmm. Okay, so what this is, see this uh, this node is nothing but a combination of all the above node. Uh, can we yeah, take yeah, it once, okay. can I take a look once again? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So if you go again here, the first one, the define sort rule and all those things are there, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can see that okay, the filters and then sub level okay. and then okay, parameter okay. for limit and what type of sorting. So mm -hmm. this complete okay, all the nodes again, it, okay. it will define it one place only. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Now please remember that okay, whenever okay, if you want to have okay, your warehouse order creation rule or okay, any of these things to work it, please don't forget always okay to sort your bins okay, based on the activity activity. Sort your beans, okay, in the activity area based on activity. Then only, okay, most of the things, okay, will work properly. So, if you want to sort the beans, it's not a warehouse management really? master. Right? Yeah. Um, this will be the actually this. Uh, uh, this will be the continuous work, right? Ah, uh, usually or, most of the uh, times, okay, the beans will not be changing in the warehouse, right? <laughs> uh, let's say no re uh, rearrangement is there. So no, no rearrangement is there, but okay, the bins will not be changed, right? Activity areas. Yeah, activity area will not change. <laughs> yeah, that that definitely that should be same. Yeah, very bad. So most of the times, okay, the bins are okay. The activity areas, okay, these will not change it. Only that okay, the material in which bin has to be stored that will be changing. You got the thing right? The rearrangement means the bins will not be changing it. Only the materials where it will be moving that will be changing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What happened? Okay. Why the? Your why the, is not coming. Why that okay? The picking is not coming. Okay. Now I know. Assign activities to the activity area. Okay. <laughs> SPRO, go to the IMG, okay, go to the master data, go to the activity area, assign activities to the, assign service bins, okay, define that, okay, the sort sequence, okay, okay, just a minute, okay, so where is our activity area, EHYD, and then okay the cold is our activity area so for this particular activity area now add our activity also the picking okay the sequence is okay the one then storage type is cold and then what basis okay you want to so once you added the activity to the activity area then only okay you can sort it out okay so now just go there 
now sort the storage bins. So the cold activity area based on the activity is okay, the picking. Okay, so now it will appear. Okay, the pick. Just create the bin sorting. Just execute. So in this way, okay, it will sort the bins based on the ILR, okay, based on that, okay, whatever the sort sequence, okay, which you defined it, okay. Now, so next, okay, let's check that, okay, the, our process oriented storage control, okay, I want to use, okay, one of the packing work center also for the pack operations, okay. Class process settings, okay, the warehouse task, process oriented storage control for the OB02, okay. So I just want to have it, okay, one of the So EHYD, okay, for the OB02, I just want to okay, use okay, one of the packed work center. So I can always okay, use it okay, based on my particular, okay, the, as the rule based also, the once which I can define it, okay, the define the work center in goods issue, I can define it or I can specify it, okay, the manually also. So let me check, okay, whether we have any work center for the packing which we defined it, which I can use it if I have it. So in the master data, in the work center, I can use okay one of the work center. Mm, we don't have any work center. Okay, I think we can use okay the same deco itself as a packing work center also. Otherwise, you can define okay the one new work center and then okay we can use it also. Or okay, I can use okay the one of this okay the packing okay in the VRP. Okay. Okay, so let's okay define okay the one of the bin okay for the particular work center for the outbound also and then okay once you define it okay you need to define okay the particular okay the work center okay the goods issue also so for a particular activity area and for a particular consolidation group okay you want to do this particular thing or you can assign it okay the manually also in the OB02 step okay so let's assign it okay the manually in the OB02 work center uh, I can just okay, let us okay try to use okay the same work center for a while like okay the deco which we can use it for a, for a while. I, another, otherwise okay you can just copy the one of the work center and then okay you can use the same one. So I'm using the same deco itself as a packing work center. Okay. Okay, so Okay, so I'm just trying to use okay one of these things. So I, you cannot use okay either you can put these things or okay you can specify it in the condition records also. Okay, so either you can use the rule based. Sir, so yeah, this is nine zero one zero. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <I can. laughs> the stock type will change it. based on the available group. Okay, yeah, that's why otherwise okay, let's do one thing, okay. I'll quickly okay define one of the bin, okay, so that okay it may be as for the process, okay. A bit lazy to define. <laughs> okay. So let me find okay one of the storage type okay which we can use it for the packing in the outbound. Mm. Okay. 8030. Yeah, it is okay. The, yep, it is 8030. Yes. Okay. 
so make sure that okay the storage type role okay the e should be there okay e means okay which you can use it as a work center so let's okay define okay the one of you can you you can use a, a decon one you can use there uh, where you are mentioned decon right now no you can use yeah, decon yeah. one then yeah otherwise okay we can just create okay simply one uh, decon one yeah okay let's yeah, check yeah. okay whether you have created decon one Okay, let me check. Okay, that one. That's what. Uh, see, uh, go to same screen. Go to same screen, yeah, and we can I'll assign decon one. Yeah, I'll just check it whether it belong to eight zero three zero or not. Okay. So it it is belong to eight zero one zero. No, is it okay? Yeah, that's what. Okay. I'll just okay quickly check it, Suraj. Okay. E W M E W M E W M. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. What happened? Uh, nothing is there in eight zero three zero. Yeah, no, no. Eight zero one zero decon one is there, no. So yeah, eight zero one zero is a eight zero one zero is a packing. I can use it. Is it for? Yeah, it's or? a deconsolidation. It's a deconsolidation inbound work center. Okay. Otherwise, okay. Because okay, anyway, that uh, the storage type definition eight zero three zero says that okay for the packing goods issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Otherwise, okay. If it is an inbound, okay. Again, the store uh, stock type, okay, may change it. Okay. So, so okay, now right. I'm just okay. Define okay one of the bin for the pack. Okay. Yes. Okay. So let us okay try to define okay this particular bin, okay. and then okay we'll assign it okay to the work center pack. Okay. This plays very major role, right, Shini? Sorry. Yeah. This usually, plays okay. very major role. <laughs> so actually okay we can just okay use it okay for one time only otherwise okay you can just define the bins and then you just need to assign it to work center so one time activity only okay so now once you define this particular storage bin so you need to link this okay to your work center also so go to your spro and then okay define the work center too so you need change the warehouse number is em1 change the oh, em okay i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry. Pack, okay. I just forgot it. Thanks, yeah. That was okay. I need to come in here. Okay, yep. Triple zero one. Now, once we define the bin, so just okay, go to that okay SPRO, and then okay, define your external warehouse management. master data work center define the work center so make sure that okay you at least okay you have a one work center okay in the ehyd warehouse oh so we have okay the one of this thing you can see here okay oh busy make sure that okay for the corresponding okay the work center always okay please remember that okay the corresponding okay the external step whatever you define in the process or into storage control is available otherwise okay you cannot close the hu at the work center and then okay the corresponding okay the storage type 8030 and then okay i don't want any of the inbound section and as well as okay the outbound section also i want to use okay only one section okay now in the rule definition of okay the warehouse process type you can just define it there or okay you can just okay assign it okay the manually also so if you go to that okay the cross process settings warehouse task the process for into storage control where did they lock it okay okay so now instead of okay the decon i just okay assign okay we just okay created a new bin okay the pack or okay you can use it okay you can specify it suppose see here okay for different routes okay you want to have it as a different pack work center also suraj okay see here okay i'm just hard coding these things yeah. kanan kanan means uh, what okay. what we will do no no i'll just okay show you if what you is the difference sure. between the yeah. Yeah, yeah suppose there are two options always okay you can use it okay see here okay you can just uh, why it's not coming this okay, it has to pick okay the other things also so now if i say 
So if I go here, now mm -hmm. go to the storage process, sorry, process oriented storage control, in the EHYD for the OB02, if I mm -hmm. just simply specify, okay, the pack is the bin, okay, which I want to use it, yeah. it's not, why it's not taking place, okay, 8030. Sometimes it won't, it, it, it won't take. <laughs> okay. So, this is, anyway. Okay, so, see here, okay, you can specify always, okay, either it is in the rule based one or, okay, you can, see, they, you cannot check both of them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so either you can enter the full bin, okay, or you can specify, okay, either the rule base also. If it is rule based, okay, yeah. I am confused at this place actually what exactly uh, uh -huh. makes it significant since if uh, for okay. some reason no. somewhere no, we need it. to make a hard code and some somewhere no, we need no. to make a rule no, no 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 let's take this example okay, okay. Uh, let's take this example okay uh, all materials okay okay mm -hmm. uh, coming for mm -hmm. okay are okay going to going via route okay 23 mm -hmm. has to go to that okay the packing work center one but okay the route 24 okay it has to go to okay packing work center okay p2 okay here okay we will not hard code then okay so you don't okay so in that case okay you cannot put that thing because here you can put only the one work center only or okay right. one bin only you cannot put okay the multiple values here okay. because okay this is the key field mm -hmm. Sini, right, right. Yeah. Sini, that so some uh, existing configuration shows like a uh, rule based as well as a uh, manually you can enter, right? Where? No, if you cannot check both of them. See, you can you, if you you cannot have this option. If you check this, no, check both. About the really about it is yeah. there. Ah, Actually, that's why I'm asking. In VAS, it is there. Sorry. It is it is VAS. Even for in VAS, VAS also, yeah, even for VAS also. You can just define your own condition records or okay dynamically okay assuming that your warehouse task is going to propose your own destination bin also, Suresh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, assuming that okay through one of the body you implemented so you don't want to hard code the destination bin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can no, use no, I'm bin. just saying in VAS it is used like that, so it is getting yeah. con confused. No, no, see, yeah. <laughs> so each scenario you have to treat it differently. <laughs> differently, yeah, yeah. That's why I mean, uh, Mr. Kanan is also asking the same. Kanan, uh, don't get, uh, is there yeah. any confusion for the OB0 to step alone? Because this is very important no. actually. No, yeah, I saw previous some configuration is existing configuration uh, accepts both. Uh -huh. But uh, that is no, no. because of no, that, no, then no, I am no. okay. No, no. You see, it may be for other warehouses, okay. If you just see here, if you try, try to check both and then try to save, system has to give an error. Hello. Okay. Can you see the error? Enter, okay, either select the rule base or enter the destination data. <laughs> so that was actually some, okay, pre-existing junk data was available in the system, so that's so why it was there. Either, <laughs> so if I understand correctly, either, uh -huh. uh, Srini, uh -huh. if I understand correctly, either you have to enter all the data or just only click the rule base. Exactly. <laughs> either allow the system to decide or you decide. Exactly. <laughs> if, it is rule, yeah, if it is rule based, okay, see here. If it is rule based, okay, then, okay, if you go to the front end, if it is a rule based, then go to the work center. Can you see here? Here is the place, okay, you need to define it. Okay, so for a particular activity area, for a particular route, okay, you want to have it as a different bins, you can specify it here based on the condition groups, okay? Or, okay, you can use, okay, even the body, okay, to determine this particular storage bin also. The work center determination body is there, so which you can overwrite, okay, whatever the work center, okay, the system has to go also. Okay, so now, to the only thing that is remaining is that, okay, so if I want to have my pick H unit to be proposed, okay, I want to have, okay, one of the pack spec, okay, so, going to the packs pack. Hmm. Let me check if I have any of the packs pack. Okay, which I can use it. Yeah, you have. 
mm, but okay for the HYD career I need it, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm, okay, anyway. Let me copy this thing. Sorry. I'll just copy this thing and then I'll change the backspec group, okay, for the product of HYD underscore C U R. I think if I copy it, I think I cannot change that to okay, the pack spec group. No, I cannot change the pack spec group, so I don't want this thing. No, you can, we can. Okay, no. No, you cannot change the pack spec group. <laughs> 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 okay, so that's the problem. <laughs> there are there are lot many things like this that we need to. Uh, do commercial job, continuous yeah, yeah. of job. <laughs> See, that's what, okay, these are the errors, okay, we may face it, okay, when you practice this, so, <laughs> these tips you can learn it only through practice only. Otherwise, and okay, you may... That is, to, yeah, uh, in last week I created, I yeah. created 4,000 stops in mm -hmm. per route. Oh. Because it was <laughs> manual job. <laughs> Srini, <laughs> yeah. Srini. Yeah. What are you trying to do? I really don't, you know, I lost the track. Uh, you... No, no, no. What I did is that I tried to copy one of the pack spec as my oh. own pack spec. Okay. But if I copy the pack spec, right, I cannot change the pack spec group. Okay. okay. To the new one. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so you are creating a new, a new one to assign your pack group. Yes, yes. Okay. So let's try to use, okay, the SAP. And then, okay, I just want to use, okay, the... SAP is for outbound? No, you can use okay, okay, any pack spec group, okay, whatever you define it, because that's a standard delivered. Oh, okay. Okay, so you can just define okay add messaging groups. This basically that group, okay. What happened? It's yeah, yeah. why it's not going for uh, it. I want to save, yeah. <laughs> okay, the system behaves, okay. Crazy. Yes, okay. I forgot, okay, even the material, okay, which I can use it, okay. Now, Yeah, okay, HYD, okay, curry, pack, pack, okay. Now, in our content, okay, in the product, okay, so let's use, okay, the HYD CUR, okay, so based on these things, okay, my pick HU will be proposed. Suppose if I want to pick two quantity, then okay, it may propose a different pick HU also. So based on that, okay, I can have different number of pack specs in my system, so that, okay, system and all the warehouse order creation rule gets created. So it will automatically tell my picker that, okay, what kind of box actually he need to carry along with him. Is it clear now? Why the pick mm -hmm. HU uh, is important? Because okay, if I am now know that okay, if my worker okay is going to pick okay, uh, let's take that okay, ten cokes means okay, he has to take uh, carry a okay, different kind type of box. But if it is like one coke, okay, he has to carry a different type of pick box. Okay. Yes. Okay, so that's important. Okay. Now, uh, yeah. In this case, uh, in this case, uh, the number of stops will also be generated for picking that uh, Pikachu. Sorry. Uh, if we have if we have a fully automated warehouse, then uh -huh. we have fast food generated for this pick at you also. That someone uh, has to go and pick the pick at you and then go there. Uh, one thing okay, uh proposed in EWM, H U alone okay, it cannot be moved unless okay if there is nothing inside it. Okay. 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 Otherwise okay what you can do is that okay you can create as a uh Returnable packaging kind of material. Mm -hmm. You got my point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that, that way mm -hmm. you can use it. Okay, so that okay, whenever if the pick H U also got created, okay, so what you can do is that okay, through a user exit, okay, create a one more warehouse task with a kind of okay, the returnable packaging material kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So that even the pick H U also will be moved. Okay, go to the corresponding pick area and it will be waiting there. Okay. You know uh, the problem uh, that we are facing right now in the current uh, yeah. uh, is that uh, when we uh, you know when they do the loading, so they uh -huh. don't load the pallets along with the material. So okay. pallets are all lying at the staging area. 
Okay. So, they also need to track those pallets, that how to move those pallets to their destination after they are cleaning or they have done their job. And uh, then the way of star should get generated for you know, one foot lift so that it can fit those uh, empty you know, pallets and then move to its destination. Uh, Prabhupada, sorry, actually I just missed some of the lines, so I don't know whether I understood correctly or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let me explain. Uh, yeah. For example, we are uh, doing the loading. Okay. So at the time of loading, we are not loading the actual a lot. Uh, we are not loading the pallets along with the video. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So all the pallets are lying at this staging area. Yes. Okay? So one activity uh, the uh, it should be allocated one task so that it can pick those empty pallets and put it in its destination uh, location. So uh -huh. how to achieve this? Mm. Yes. <laughs> uh, what you can do is that okay you can uh, put them okay. Uh, so let's take this example okay. Uh, in this case okay the H2 number okay it has to be a reusable H2 number. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once you load it, okay, you want to bring those pallets again back into the warehouse and still you want to track them, right? Yes, right. Okay, so in that case, okay, uh, as a H2 alone, you cannot move it, okay, but what you can do is that, okay, you can create a kind of, okay, the dummy material mm -hmm. and then drop it in that H2 as a, like, an automated warehouse task in the background. Okay. And then okay, you can move that H2 okay, wherever you want it. So, that H2 uh, would be here as a particular material or how would you put it? Yeah, it's like a, the H2 just okay, it acts as like a, it contains a dummy material. Um, but okay, the, your requirement actually I got it, but it should be possible, it should be possible, okay, because the, the requirement looks very genuine actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. <laughs> so I have not come across, but okay, anyway, I'll just, okay, check, okay. <laughs> we, we, we just think over it and I will ask you, you know, in the next, next, next class. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because, okay, yeah, the, the requirement looks very genuine actually. Yeah. I'm just thinking of, okay, how to move it, because uh, once uh, it is yeah, go ahead. Srini. Yeah. I think but it's a real scenario uh -huh. without containing any material, actually have not any value. Uh, no, actually. For the uh, for them actually they want to even okay keep track of the pallets also. So that okay, see once you drop the pallets at the loading area, they want to bring back those things again into the warehouse. And then they want to track those things also. Yeah. <laughs> It's a H2 movement point of view like, no, no, any one question here. Yeah. H2 may be in the warehouse, correct? Yeah, it may be in the certain storage location. No, no, it already, okay. You can move it, even for a security. Yeah, yeah, see the H2 actually, okay, left at the staging area. Now what the requirement is that, okay, they want to bring it back to the warehouse. So while bring it back to the warehouse, they want to track it, okay, which box is, okay, where actually. Yeah. Okay. For example, uh, Shrini, no, Sh Shrini, for this we can give the example. In Walmart, we have the trolleys. So yeah, after think, using the trolley, where it is laying, and the trolley yeah. should be counted daily. Yeah. So is that the correct? Oh, no, yeah. 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 We can discuss it in next class or next yeah, class. Maybe class. actually, see, one, okay, the, it's a, the solution is that I can use it as a dummy material and then okay, I can crack, track it, but it is, uh, I, I do not like the solution. <laughs> the, the dummy material, how would that move along with this, you know, material and be achieved? Yeah, okay, so I just need to do a dummy packing in the background and then you track it, but I don't like that solution, Professor. <laughs> no problem. Srini, there is one functionality, if you, uh -huh. uh, Srini, uh, so sorry, this is out of the, this is in ERP, uh -huh. in MM, we have one uh, functionality called returnable package material. No, that thing is even available here also. Uh -huh. Okay, so maybe that thing we can use it, but I'm not sure, okay. I can uh, just yeah. check it on it, okay, how actually no yeah, I can yeah, yeah, yeah. the scenario. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now. So for Srini, this particular you said, yeah. uh, Srini, 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 um, you yeah. said uh, 
Uh, for one coke, uh, how the uh, uh, what kind of uh, material to be used for ten coke? What kind of material to be used? That what it is going to decide. That what you said in the last. Yes, time. yes, yeah, exactly. For uh, the how, pick how, HU. How, how the how the how the warehouse worker is going to know for one? Not one the warehouse worker, right? Okay, so not the warehouse worker. Hmm. So what actually? See here. Okay, that's what I think you need to again follow our notepad again. <laughs> Okay, now let's come to this thing. Okay, so sorry, I I am no, 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 no issues, no issues. Okay, see here. Okay, the warehouse worker when he need to know. First of all, tell me. Once I create my pick task and once I construct my warehouse order, then only the work is ready, right? Exactly, correct. Okay, so by the time okay the warehouse order I created it, so then I know that okay what I need to pick it up. Correct, correct. So then only, okay, I'll uh, my system will propose that okay, the pick HU also. Correct. Okay. So okay. to propose the pick HU, it need to know that okay, what kind of pick HU it need to be picked up. Oh, okay, okay. Then okay, the my condition record. Now it know that okay, yeah. Okay, now okay. my condition record will tell that okay. See here, okay. Uh, do you remember okay the kind of packing material which we used it in the U H Y D earlier? Uh, I can just check it up. Okay, just give me two minutes. <laughs> I just took. Okay, I forgot even the packing material also. Uh, last times, okay, which we used it. Ah, uh, okay, I can do one thing. Any uh, table is there to check this or this? Is? Yeah, CWM pack, uh, pack spec or some table. Okay, I am very poor in the tables. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, what I can do is that okay for the EWM, I have the list of complete tables available, which we use okay. it okay with the bappers. Okay, I always okay refer the sheet and then use this. Okay. Okay. It's the same thing like okay the tables in ERP, which we have the list always. <laughs> mm -hmm. I always okay maintain the list of tables. Okay. Okay. Okay, I can use okay the PK hyphen okay zero ninety five. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so pack material PK hyphen zero ninety five. Okay, now just okay, save this thing. Now go to the your main thing. Can you see here? There is a condition record for the warehouse order creation rule, which you have to use it. Okay, so zero BDL. Okay, now I don't want to use supply chain unit or the route or these things. Okay. So I just want to use okay that particular okay the packing profile okay which we use date right, okay so if you want it okay you can define it okay the your own okay can you see here the particular pack spec is relevant if you want okay you can put okay the your own conditions also the other logical conditions or okay you can add your own fields or for a particular route only it has to be taken or for a particular supply chain unit only it has to be taken just okay save this thing. Okay, delete this entry. What it is? The condition record may not be deleted. Why? It has to be deleted. Why it's not allowing to be deleted? Oh, okay. So, what is the supply chain unit okay, for the warehouse? Machinery, if you save, I hope the only one condition will be saved. Oh, is it okay? <laughs> no, but it is saying that okay, supply chain unit is initial and in the condition record it's a mandatory entry, okay? For that particular. Yeah. You checked the creation rule indicator, right? No, no, okay. Let me okay. No, no, no. One, one minute, just give me a minute. So just let me save this thing and come back again. 
21. Just go to the change now. Okay, so now, yeah, you are right, Suraj. <laughs> okay, so if I just try to activate. Yes, oh. Shrini, I faced this in VAS. <laughs> okay, anyway, let me, okay, put this thing, okay, on minute, just give me a minute. Okay, I just want to know what is, okay, the, our uh, HYDP, is the, our, I think, the supply chain unit, okay. Yeah, okay. And then, okay, the corresponding, okay, the packing profile is, okay, the PSEK is used, okay. Now, I'll just delete the old entry. The system, okay, these are the ones, okay. Now, okay. <laughs> now, I just, okay, save this thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, okay, activate this thing. Now, if you create a particular, okay, the warehouse pick, warehouse task, okay, for this HYDCUR, okay. Slash n slash SCWM. Hmm. One minute, just give me. I am using. No, no, I just want to use that thing in the stock removal control indicator also in the, so that okay, it pointed to the corresponding cold storage type only. <laughs> Last class, okay, we got, okay, the, it's not picking the right one from the cold, okay. Now, I just want to check, okay, whether I have any stock or not, okay. So, HYDCUR. Okay, if there is no stock, I'll just move some stock to the cold area. Okay, so I don't Shini, know. how we'll do uh, the initial upload also? Yeah, you can do that, okay, the stock upload. There is a STWM stock upload transaction is there. Hmm. Okay, so oh. I just want to, okay, move, okay, this particular stock, okay, to the cold storage bin. <laughs> so, cold hyphen zero one hyphen okay zero one. Great, let's see. Great, let's see. Oops, no mix stories, eh? <laughs> okay, let me take it one off the bin. So I'm just okay moving okay one of the stocks so that like, otherwise okay I need to put the stock again. <laughs> so that's why I'm trying to move the stock again back to the cold storage, okay? Confirm plus save. So, in the go to the ECC and then, okay, we just create, I'll just quickly create one outbound delivery and if I create a pick task, okay. So, I'm just, okay, now going back to our ECC system to create, okay, the one of the outbound delivery on top of which, okay, I just want to create, okay, the pick task, okay. Create outbound delivery.
Okay, so if I just save the delivery, there is as per our process. Okay, it has to go there. Um, Shini? Yeah? Can we do the packing here? Uh, no use actually. <laughs> you cannot do that no thing. I think, so. I think you cannot even do that thing. Okay. I don't think you can do that thing, Suraj, if, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I don't think no, you can just, do it. Yeah. Just be, just uh, uh, got a question, so I'm asking. Yes. Yeah, I don't think you can do it. But okay, <laughs> if you just try it off, okay, well, there's nothing wrong in trying. <laughs> so then we'll <laughs> get to know. <laughs> okay, that's the way I learned it also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we also actually uh, not too late. My Nikon will also work. I've done some changes. Okay, four five is our delivery. So one eight. 15845 okay so now you just okay go here slash n okay just make sure that okay the queue actually okay works properly <laughs> so I just want to make sure that okay there are no queue errors okay luckily I hope so no, there will be. Oh, why is this queue is actually still pending here oh it is running 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 okay, okay. it takes time why actually for one delivery if it takes this much time the customers will cry <laughs> maybe I don't know what is the hardware of this system okay now it got okay created so SCWM Sundar okay now you can see okay our outbound delivery okay should be available here okay okay so 800 okay if I just I can test it okay based on the ERP document so this is my ERP document. Okay, can you see here? HYD curry, okay, it's happily sitting here. Mm. So now if I try to create okay the pick warehouse tags, okay, as per the last class, okay, I can uh, put it in a wave or okay, I can release the wave also. Or I can create okay, can, you the put, uh, can you see the HU? Sorry, it should HU. be back, no? No, HU will be proposed only when the warehouse order gets created okay based on the pack profile we selected unchecked the checkbox HU has to be okay. created checkbox I unchecked it right if you check the checkbox then H2 will be created automatically and will be linked to the warehouse order uh, now at what stage it will be done here or uh, here or if you want it okay even when the pick task is getting confirmed you can create the pick HU and then you can confirm the task also okay okay Okay, there are two ways. Okay, you can carry the box, whatever you like it, or if you know, okay, most of the sometimes the warehouse in a particular activity area, the pickers will use a common type of boxes. So right. there actually they want to create the pick label dynamically and then they want to add it to the box. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it depends on the scenario. So it gives the both the kind of flexibility to you. Okay. Now, see here, okay, this is the log, okay, which is very important for you. I'll just show you the importance of this log, okay? So now, okay, if you just, okay, look at, okay, the stock can be removed. It has to point out, okay, why it's not, okay, what happened to that stock, okay? The cold one, okay, why it's not taking? It is taking only the H40 only. Stock removal strategy. Stock. No, stock removal strategy is correct because, okay, it has to, but, okay, that old stock, okay, let me, okay, manually, okay, cold star, okay, 10, I'll just point out, okay, so, I'll just check, okay, whether the stock is there or not, so at least, okay, I'll just check it, just give me one minute, CWM monitor, I think we moved the stock to cold bin, right? Because, okay, otherwise, okay, if I pick it from hot, the problem is that okay, our warehouse and the activity area will not take place. <laughs> because I defined all the conditions based on the cold activity area. Physical stock. Hmm. 
it is there so cold hyphen zero one hyphen ten it is there what is the problem for this stock to pick it up stock identification Srini, you want to check the stock uh, we need to come to this more now nah? yes uh, okay yeah because okay this stock actually was actually part of the another delivery so that's why actually it's not at released okay so manually I need to pick the stock okay Yes, I need to uncheck the stock from the document, okay? So. Srini? Srini, why this happen? Uh, because actually that stock, okay, it is still actually pointed to the another outbound delivery. Srini, there are two Srini, questions. Hi. One is, Srini? Yeah. So to check the stock, uh, you need to come to this mon uh, transaction, ACWM slash mon and then, yeah. or is yeah. there any straight yeah. away? No, no, the no, monitor no. only. One it only okay and uh, for to if, if this error happens because of insufficient stock right or the stock availability is assigned to some other thing yeah Suros, can you see here so storage type okay cool does not yeah, allow yeah. okay so uh, just to give me two one minute I'll just okay move because okay that stock okay it is actually part of okay that thing so I'll just move okay but everything is okay I used or what. Yeah. Can't you build inventory here, uh, Srini? Yeah, you can build it. <laughs> you can just okay, do a posting change and then okay, increase the stock. <laughs> That's what I wanted to ask. And you, you have <laughs> so, yeah, you can do that thing. Yeah. You just but do the we need to see also, just, right? Yeah, just do the posting change so that okay, the stock will get increased. <laughs> okay, so I'll do one thing. I'll just okay, move from here to 11 so you are moving from one bin to another okay. bin right yeah, so that, yeah because okay no, why my question is okay. not moving from one bin to another you are talking about posting change not, I am talking about building the inventory itself na? yeah you can build that thing okay rather than okay, you need to create a posting document and then okay post the differences only hmm. So I, I think I did, I did not define oh, what happened. The cold, okay, we don't have any bins or what, okay. You have, it's not yeah, picking up. A lot of bins, okay. No, okay, let me take, okay, the nine. I think we only have ten bins only. Mm. <laughs> uh, there is a transaction. Uh, a CWM post and then you can just increase the stock also. So now if I go to that okay the follow on task okay where are task okay stock can be removed can you see now <laughs> okay so from here, okay, it has to be available, okay, then it has to pick it up. So if I just, okay, create plus save, now the best part is that, okay, can you see here, it is all checking our, okay, the packing determination, every code actually. Hmm. So I'll just, show, I'll show you the one important thing. You just always, okay, don't go now. The everything important is that the warehouse order creation rule, it has to be our warehouse order creation rule. This log is like a Bible to you. Okay, whenever if the warehouse order got constructed, this is the way. First time, okay, don't do it. Okay, everything automated. Just check everything whether it is packing and everything is go doing as per the search. All your search sequence is correct or not? Everything you can find it in this log. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you can see here the product warehouse task creation, the delivery document, the material quantity. Now the source data. Yes, okay, see here, the storage type set sequence, first in, first out got found, so it uses, okay, the cold, so now, cold is the bin, okay, which it has taken, the destination, okay, it has taken, the destination storage type, 9020, that is one thing, now, capacity determined, okay, that is fine, the queue determination logic, okay, this is, okay, if you want to assign it to the RF gun, do you remember? 
the queue determination logic also now this is okay the queue determination logic available now the warehouse order actually got constructed so let us go to the warehouse order if I just go to the confirm here I just want to see that okay the warehouse order also the main thing I want I'm very interested here is that okay the warehouse order creation rule so if I go here can you see here Suraj yeah yeah this is a very important uh, thing uh, Sundar Khan yeah. the warehouse order creation rule oh, okay to pick the same pick to the yes. same thing now if you go to the pick uh -huh. HU, can you see here the pick HU is proposed but the HU is blank here. Mm. Okay, this is okay the one kind of scenario. Now I am telling the my picker that please use a box okay of this type. Mm. Okay. okay. So otherwise okay if you want it okay see otherwise uh, let's take this example that okay sometimes I am creating the box already and I am already affixing the label means okay in my warehouse auto creation or pack profile the checkbox do you remember I check uncheck the checkbox H2 creation versus uncheck okay, the H2 creation that's what if the H2 creation checkbox is already selected the system will already create the H2 and that H2 will be already okay linked it to the warehouse order also okay I'll do one thing okay is it clear now I'll do one thing I'll cancel this thing next time okay I'll check the checkbox and then I'll show you the result okay okay that makes okay more sense okay so I'll do one thing so I'll cancel this thing okay I'll cancel sorry I'll not save this thing okay I will do one thing okay let me go back and then okay let me cancel the warehouse task so that okay I can show you that okay what is the importance of that okay the H2 creation also SCWM on Documents warehouse task, the open warehouse task, and then okay, the category is two that is picking task. So I'll have only one task here. Okay, so I just want to cancel this task. Can you see here now? Uh, one more interesting thing, Suraj, Kannan, everybody. Can you see here the step also? Yeah. Okay, the storage process Z out and then OB01 also. Okay, so this has to be okay available okay for the process oriented storage control. Okay, mm. so this will come it only when the warehouse order creation rule takes place only. Otherwise, okay, this thing will not be available in the system. Okay, so now everything is working fine. Everything picks properly. Yep. That's all. It's very simple concept only. Yeah, there's no rocket science here. <laughs> so if you know this process right see always okay if you remember this notepad that's all about outbound okay, okay yeah but uh, the thing is that there are a lot many things <laughs> to maintain yeah of course okay <laughs> see that okay it comes from the flexibility right? okay. <laughs> okay see once you know see once we, you know, we miss, we miss see. one thing we miss everything yeah. else <laughs> see well, first of all okay once you know that okay this is the way how the system works means okay then you know that right okay see once if you have these lines now you know what are all the things okay you need to define it okay <laughs> now right. okay go the, to the, the cross process there setting. was a simple yeah uh, Srini, there, was, there was a simple mistake we were, we were supposed to do in that area when we yeah. was using the decon uh, uh, storage bin yeah if we might have not recognized that time everything got gone in, incorrectly right yeah yeah <laughs> now okay let's do this thing Sundar can you see here this box okay the create HUs which I was talking earlier correct now if you select this box the system will go and create the HU also oh that is why it is blank now at the moment exactly that's what uh, okay last time okay I unchecked the thing and then I want you to see this difference also okay okay okay, okay. So because okay these things are important okay Okay. And then you want to assign the warehouse task also to the HU, then you can check this checkbox also. Hmm. Otherwise, don't assign it. Just only create the HUs, but don't put the task into the HU. Then you can use these things. Okay, these are the flexibility. Suppose okay, the worker can use the pick HU for another task also. Let's take this example. Then only the box will be ready, but okay, it will not be tied to the warehouse task. Okay, okay. You can now you can think of from a real warehouse perspective these things. Okay. Hmm. 
okay so now let's see the difference okay let's go to the now outbound delivery prdo sorry where is our prdo now just execute it now i just want to create a okay, various task Now, if I just okay, the stock can be removed. It has to still okay point it to my cold bin because okay, I have not okay use the stock. If I just okay create plus save, it has to create a new warehouse order to me. So warehouse order okay three followed by four zeros one zero four. Now, if I go to the confirm of this thing. Now, what actually I want from you is that okay, uh, Suraj or Sundar or Kannan, this warehouse order. has to be assigned okay to a queue also automatically that's what i want from you it's a very simple thing you just only put the queue determination criteria only so that okay the queue will be coming to the outbound so that okay the warehouse worker okay can go and okay confirm from the using the rf gun also okay otherwise okay manually also if you want it okay you can assign it to a queue also now let's go to that okay the pick h2 what happened So the hitch okay is I think it's not at okay I think saved or okay that thing not at reflected. I think I how I okay, need to save uh, log off or log in again. But okay the hitch number okay should come automatically here. Correct. Let us check it also okay. Uh, I'll do one thing. Or whether I define the number ranges also sometimes it may be the problem. So let's okay create it. I can just get to know the error also. Okay because okay I'll just check the reason also in SLG one. or sometimes okay if the data may not be saved properly or okay those things also usually this h2 number will get created and then it will be available here also mm. okay so that time we can just check it okay next time okay when we log off and log in again the h2 number has to come automatically here and you can see that okay the storage bin also here okay so yeah uh when we put away the material uh, with h2 So the information uh -huh. that we have in, in non is that uh, this particular issue and uh, this much quantity is available in this bin. Okay. Yeah. So when we try to pick that material, mm -hmm. so it should pick along with that issue number or not? Yes, it will be along with that issue number. But okay, you can use the same issue as a destination issue if you want it, okay. or you can overwrite with a new issue also. Okay, so new H U would mean that uh, the H U as well as the you know we need to be merging the old one and creating a new one. Yes, exactly. The merging the old one but creating a new H U. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. Okay, so this is very important. Make sure that okay the warehouse order creation rule, and one more important thing is that okay here the message log also. Okay, so. so this log object okay the warehouse order execution log okay you just need to go to the activation log and then okay if you want activate this log so that okay the complete okay the log is also available here so that's why okay as of now okay this log okay is not available for us so just okay confirm plus save okay now so what actually there is a note may be missing in the system so that okay the next warehouse task may not be created automatically so i'll just check it okay document okay the warehouse task okay for the process category 2 the system okay has to create the okay the ob02 task automatically can you see here the system actually okay did not create the ob02 task to me hmm Okay, so which has to move to that? Okay, the, let me check it. Okay, yeah, it okay. Yeah, it moved properly. Now, if I go to my packing work center, that H two should be available. S C W M slash okay, the pack P A C K is now my worker actually logs into the packing work center. Uh, what is the work center which we defined it? Okay, in the H two, I think pack only, right? Uh, No, sorry, it's V V E R P F. Sorry. Now, 
if I log into my okay the packing work center in the goods issue, see here this is our pick HU okay which is available okay here. So it is actually okay waiting okay to get it okay packed. Now mm -hmm. here is the place okay where the worker okay PK actual packing material okay he uses it okay to create okay the new box and then okay he want to okay use okay the now I want to okay pack okay the corresponding material whatever the way you like it. Now just okay save this thing. Now here okay if you double click on this thing okay HU if you go to that okay the HU detail can you see here the OB02 Suraj Z out OB02 okay so this is very important now so we define our own storage process okay so OB01 is over so I check this checkbox of auto check and also okay the OB02 okay so if I close okay this OB02 and then okay I already defined okay the auto checkbox even for the OB02 also so OB03 has to create automatically so if it's not creating automatically there is a note okay should be missing in the system also I'll send you that note also okay except a note okay may be missing also if I don't know whether this note may be available in the system or not so now once you pack the system you have to close the box okay so yeah, yeah. complete the process step for the HU just save it okay now the HU step okay it got completed can you see here one more okay the put away task okay got created also can you see there is a worker actually trying to move it okay this thing hmm. another task okay so now let us go to okay if I go to the monitor for this HU two followed by one two three four zeros thirty one right okay so let us go to the monitor SCWM slash monitor two followed by four zero thirty one if I want to see that okay whereas task associated for the box two followed by one two three four zero thirty one that is a new box okay which we just constructed can you see here the OB03 task from packing work center to the goods yeah. issue zone and it is a HU warehouse task also is it clear now <laughs> yes. Z out OB03 yeah. from the packing work center to the GI zone so just okay confirm it okay whether it in the foreground or in the background or if you the quantity okay is not matching it you can use an exception also so the OB03 also got confirmed and then okay if you want it you can do the GI also okay so is it clear now because okay have these notes always in your mind okay so that okay you will never make any mistakes in the outbound scenarios okay so everything okay we did it now and it works successfully okay I'll send these things to you so what we can do is the next class is that okay maybe we can start with the layout or into storage control along with the MFS and as well as okay other important topic is the labor management also we want to concentrate more effort and then okay the printing part and the PPF again the printing part and the PPF again then you printing yeah. also yeah that's what the yeah, printing is what the printing. Printing. <laughs> can we do PYE and sorting yep yep I'll do that thing also <laughs> okay so I thought okay it's like okay the small but okay when we are entering it we keep on becoming ocean <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Yep. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you on Monday.